Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy Nenrique. And today I'll be doing a video discussing five people who could defeat Mariam. And basically this is going to be a new series on my channel where I basically do a five people who could defeat. It's when I'm going to pick a character from the series of Hunter x Hunter and I'm going to select five people who I think can beat that character. Now the rules are basically I'm going to, I'm going to have to use characters that have somewhat of a connection to the character that I'm saying could be defeated because I don't want to just have like random characters that like have like no chance of fighting him like for example i'm not going to pick like all the zodiacs that could defeat him because that's just it's pointless like you know i'm not just going to pick like the strongest people for each separate video so yeah i'm just going to pick characters that i think will have some type of relevance towards Miriam. and yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get to the video now Miriam is without a doubt me personally i think that he is the strongest character that we've seen so far hunter x hunter when it comes to what he's able to do and what do i mean by that and i'm talking about anime only of course because this video won't have manga spoilers in there so don't come back and say people like oh you know blah 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 could defeat him because the manga it's kind of spooky i'm not gonna lie it's been kind of spooky like mariam i don't know listen, all i'm gonna say is i don't know I don't, listen listen i'm not gonna spoil it for anime only but nonetheless we know that mario so far for anime only he's basically been the strongest character that we've seen when it comes to feats we know that he was basically toying around with netro even though netro wasn't in his prime the fact that he was still able to toy around with netro and me personally i believe that even though netro wasn't in his prime he was still one of the strongest hunters at the time so the fact that he was toying around with one of the strongest hunters that shows that his strength was impeccable and he is definitely at the top of the food chain when it comes to strong in hunter x hunter anime only wise let's not let, let, let me say that anime only wise but i know you guys are finally you guys are thinking stop talking just get into the people that you think can defeat him and i'm going to do that now the first two are going to kind of i'm not gonna lie they're kind of going to be a little cheap but coming in at number five is Netro. and the only reason i'm saying this is because i knew that if people if i didn't have him on this list it would kind of be disrespectful because he is the one who actually defeated mariam so yeah i gotta put him on this this list for a person that could defeat him we know the whole rose bomb situation a lot of people are saying oh it wasn't really netro it was the bomb blah 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 nonetheless netro he came strapped like he came prepared he came strapped and he knew what he had to do and that was one of the reasons why he beat him so number five is netro coming in at number four is adult gone and the reason why i say adult gone is basically because he destroyed pito and basically he was said to be on par with the king and now obviously i'm using pre uh nuke Ma mariam because we know that post nuke mariam he was op like nobody is touching him. i don't think anybody's touching him like anime or manga wise i don't think anybody's touching post nuke mariam but pre nuke mariam the one that i'm talking about for this house strong yeah i think that gone would be able to beat him because the dope gone he had we knew that he was not playing around like there was no jokes involved i think that he was all serious about the goal and we saw his destructive capability and what he was able to do and i definitely do think that if him and mariam got to a fight uh yeah let's just say that mariam would have got skunked yes i do think that he would have got skunked or i don't think he would have got skunked but i think he would have basically got you know i think that gone it would have been a more like it would have been favor heavily in gone's favor because pito the way that she was looking at him she saw him as a major threat and she basically was fearing for the king's life i don't know if that was like her reaction as a bodyguard but i don't know it didn't make gone look very scary and let's keep it running in the in the Jing in the Freaks family, and I'm gonna say Jing Freaks. And the reason I'm gonna say Jing is because yeah, he was basically shown to be a top five Nen user. He's basically a master of Nen, and he's one of the people that are really closest to Netro. He was one of the people that was talking about carrying on Netro's will, and I do think that Jing he does like exploring. So yeah, I do think that even there might be a possibility to actually see Jing actually fight somebody on the level of Merriam in the dark continent because we know that, that that basically that's where we're gonna end up going i'm not gonna spoil too much but yeah i definitely gotta say that jing i do think that he is basically one of the strongest people that will be able to take on Merriam. 
Now, this one might trigger a lot of people, but I gotta say Crollo Lucifer. Now, I think that Crollo is really underrated. Like, Crollo is so underrated in terms of power when it comes to Hunter x Hunter. Me, personally, I think people sleep on Crollo, but the one thing that I gotta say is this. He was able to take on both Silva and Zeno. Now, this might be a little bit of math here, but hear me out. I believe that Silva and Zeno combined they might be able to hold up against Netro. They might be able to hold up against Netro. So if Crollo and was able to hold his own against both of them while they're trying to kill him, you listen, man. That's like that's that's kind of like fighting a Netro. Am I reaching here? But I kind of think that's kind of like fighting a Netro. And I do think that with his abilities, Crollo's abilities, that is, he's kind of OP. You know, he can take people's net abilities, and there's no telling what type of net abilities he have. Now, obviously, we know about the whole uh his restriction thing about the whole nen thing but yeah Crollo, I definitely do think he's a very underrated character in the series. And I do think that if there's anybody that I'm willing to bet money on, I definitely do think that he would be one of the people that can defeat Mario. Listen, I know that some people might hate me for this, but I got a rep for my boy Crollo. And last but not least, I have to go with Maha Zoldic. And people, a lot of people, they might not know who Maha Zoldic is, but he is basically the grandfather to Zeno. Yes, the grandfather to Zeno. Zeno's grandfather, who was basically said to be Netro's, basically, I guess you, I don't want to call him rival, but we know that him and Netro fought back in the day, and Netro survived against them. Now, a lot of people, they take it as Netro was like, he was beaten up badly, or like he barely escaped the fight. And there's some people saying oh maybe Maha Zodic was the one that escaped barely like maybe he was one of the people that got beat up and he escaped with his life but nonetheless that shows that Prime Netero had somebody who was on par with him and Maha Zodic he is definitely one of those people now obviously this would be him in his prime but yeah I had to throw him in this list but overall tell me the five people who you think could defeat Mariam in this series comment what you guys see down below subscribe if you haven't peace out